Over the past few months, I have been on a hunt for a great makeup removing cleanser. And so many of my lovely subscribers gave me great suggestions for trying out new cleansers that could help me remove my makeup in the way that I wanted to. And it appears that after trying quite a few, we have found a winner. So welcome to today's battle of the makeup removing cleansers. Let's dive on in. I have quite a few products to share with you and I'll try to explain how they remove my makeup while also including how I prefer my cleansers to work. Because it's one thing to have a good cleanser that does its job, but if it's not in the preferred like delivery method, what have you, then I'm not really going to use it. So let's talk about how I remove my makeup because it's pretty lazy. I'm a night shower, which means I am 99% of the time going to take my makeup off in the shower. So what I expect from a cleanser is something that I can just kind of slather all over my face very easily, and then I just wanna get in the shower and have that all wash away my makeup. And if there is any conflict with that, then I'm not going to like this cleanser. So you may disagree. Maybe you like taking a cotton pad or a reusable makeup wipe and kind of slowly going over your makeup. Maybe you don't mind any extra steps. I am lazy and I just want to get it done. So that did influence how I'm going to be talking about some of these products, but they may still be great for you depending on how you like to remove your makeup. So let's dive on in, starting with everyone's least favorite method, the good old makeup removing wipes. Now I have these to take off swatches when I do like swatches on my channel, but I did test these out just to see how they are at makeup removing. Eh, they're good in a pinch, you know? These are the Up and Up Refreshing Wet Cleansing Towelettes. These are 99 cents at Target and out of all the makeup removing wipes I've tried, these are probably the best. They're definitely the juiciest compared to like e.l.f. or Neutrogena, and they do remove makeup pretty well. That said, I don't think you can get away with using just one towel, because if you wear a lot of makeup like I do, it gets dirty pretty fast, and I just couldn't get away with using just one. And also, one of the issues that I have with makeup towels in addition to the waste is that you never get all your makeup off. You know, there's always going to be some sort of residue left over, and it's fine in a pinch if you don't have anything else, but overall, I don't really recommend this unless you're somebody who swatches a lot of makeup, in which case, they're not bad. Something that I was using for a while, this is a bottle, um, Muji Cleansing Oil. It was fine, and then I held onto the bottle and used it to uh, put my MCT oil in. MCT is fractionated coconut oil, so it's not actual coconut oil, and it does break down makeup really well. The problem is the residue it leaves behind. It is very, very difficult to get that oily residue off your face. What you can do is use an emulsifying agent, in this case, Cremolian SCE. I got this from Garden of Wisdom. The problem is it does its job a little too well. So while this did, if you kind of mix these together, like, like a majority of this and then like a tablespoon of this guy, what I have found is while it does emulsify when water hits, it also gives me cloudy vision. And what I mean by that is when I am, you know, rubbing this on my eyes to get my eye makeup off, it stays around and I get this filmy layer of oil on my eyeballs so that everything is just a little blurry. And that is very difficult to get out of your eyes. Like I washed my face several times afterwards. I got my eye drops out. It's just one of those things that takes a few hours to go away. And if you have sensitive eyeballs like me, it is quite painful. So that's going to be a no for me as well. But we're getting close. One product that I did enjoy, even though I did kind of play myself here, this is the Paula's Choice Gentle Touch Makeup Remover with Aloe and Green Tea. You'll notice that it's pretty full, and that's because this isn't how I prefer to remove makeup. This is definitely something where you will need to take a cotton pad, um, spritz a little on, and then just kind of slowly move this around your face. And remember, I'm very lazy. So it's nice to have. I can definitely see 
the purpose of this. I use this sometimes. It definitely works very well and it doesn't irritate my eyes. But again, I'm lazy and I just want something I can slather on, emulsify, be done. I also decided to try an oldie but a goldie. This is the Pond's Cold Cream. This has been around for years and I definitely see why it's a cult classic, especially around the time it came out. Makeup remover could be very drying and irritating and it would just leave your face completely stripped. This does not. It's a cream that you kind of slather all over and then you can use a tissue to take it off. Do you see the issue here? The issue with the tissue. Uh, it's a laziness thing. Now I did try to rinse this off and it was kind of a similar issue with the MCT oil in that it just, the residue was hard to get off. So sometimes there'd be like a little bit of makeup left on the side that I just couldn't get off no matter how hard I tried. Bars! I definitely see the appeal, but with my laziness and how I like to take my makeup off, it's just not for me. Well, Maggie, you've trashed so many cleansers. Is there any that you did like? Yes. And I would like to share that with you right now. This is the Vanilla Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm in the original. Why did it take me so long to get on this train? Ulta was having a, I think, 30% off, so I bit the bullet, picked it up, and it's perfect. This is exactly what I am looking for. You just scoop a little out, massage it all over your face and eyes, and it gets the makeup right off. I step in the shower and it emulsifies, rinses off immediately. And one of the things I love is that it kind of incorporates what I enjoyed about these other cleansers that I've mentioned. It's pretty moisturizing, like the Pond's Cold Cream. It's gentle, like the Paula's Choice, and yet it still takes all of my makeup off. It's so effective, even like waterproof mascara or super long wearing lipstick, it's gone. It's very, very effective and it doesn't irritate my skin. So I'm super glad that I found this product. It, it was several years in the making, but overall, I'm gonna crown Vanilla Clean It Zero the winner. I also, I can't tell, is this scented or not? A little like a sweet cleaning fragrance. Like you know those cleaning products that have kind of like a green apple scent? It's uh, very gentle and I had to really sniff to smell it, but yeah, there is a slight scent here. Although I believe they have an unscented version, so if that's something that interests you, uh, check it out. Anyways, y'all, that is it for my cleansing battle. I'm so glad that it ended with a winner that I can see myself using for a very long time, eventually repurchasing. Also, wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented with product recommendations and suggestions. I just have really great subscribers. I hate to brag, but like, come on. It's true. So thank you all to everyone who had really nice suggestions and products to recommend to me. It's so nice of you all to do that and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!